I work at EarthCore, and I've been there for about two years, and I love my job. And I realized that I was saying I'm still in the honeymoon um, portion of my job, and I realized that's just because I actually love my job. It's really fun to go to work every day to work with these amazing people. Earth Corps was founded about 17 years ago by a returned Peace Corps volunteer. Our headquarters are here in Seattle, Washington. And our mission is to bring young adults from all over the world to do local restoration and provide global leaders for the world. And how we do this is we work in groups of six. So each, it's a really a conservation corps. So we have American participants who are AmeriCorps, um, who come from AmeriCorps, and then we bring in international participants. Right now we have about 18, and they've come from over 76 countries in the world to date. So they're really coming from all different walks of life. And we do hands-on habitat restoration, so planting plants, um, doing trail work, moving huge boulders like you see here in this picture, and it's really hard work. But the other part of our, our mission in terms of habitat restoration is building young leaders, because we're hoping that we have the next Nobel Prize winner in the environment. We want people all over the world um, to look to Earth Corps as a place where young leaders can come from. And our, uh, we also work with about 10,000 community members each year, so organizations like Microsoft, Boeing, come out into the field with us and do habitat restoration. We get our hands dirty and we work in a small team. And so, and here you can see, um, we've done a lot of work all over the Puget Sound region. You can see Seattle in the background and our core members really building these leadership experiences. So what happens after someone's done Earth Corps? Where do they go on to? Well, we have about 1,000 alumni to date. Um, we have, I think I'll get to one of them in a minute. And actually we work with about 4,000 kids as well every year. So it's been really fun for our core members to learn how to work in groups from different, different walks of life. And really we think we're like a reverse Peace Corps in that as a return Peace Corps volunteer myself, I know that you go to a country, you hope you're making a difference, but you don't really know. We're t um, training the people from those countries to find culturally appropriate solutions and learning how to empower others when they go home. And some of the skills our core members learn are things like tolerance, listening to others, um, motivating others. And to date, we have um, about, we've had about 10 participants from the Philippines from the island of Palawan, and they've started the Palawan Conservation Corps. Um, and we've even had some work parties where people from some of our AmeriCorps participants have gone back to work in the Philippines. We've also had uh, the man um, second, like from, your, from the right, is Srinivasan. He is from Valor, India. He started a zero waste um, program in India. He said really it was grubbing blackberry or removing those roots from, of blackberry here in the Pacific Northwest that gave him the motivation and the ability to go back to Valor, India and start a program that's now being replicated across the world or across his, his region. And we also have a, had participants um, like a man named Tatsuya from Japan who went home and started a Japan Conservation Corps. He's now um, adapted that conservation corps into something called the Fukushima Conservation Corps. And my boss, Steve Dubiel, was there a few weeks ago learning how um, Tatsuya is really motivating young Japanese uh, youth to go into the Fukushima area and help just help restore and clean up because obviously there's a lot of work to be done. And then a final example is this is Tolu Lope from Nigeria. Tolu was here in 2009, uh, an amazing guy. He then went back to Nigeria, and he said it was really learning how to empower others, which is what he learned here at Earth Corps, not just getting the work done. That inspired him to go home to Nigeria. He started a tree planting project. He's doing climate change work. And now he's actually in grad school in Germany and hoping to then go back to Nigeria. But we just have amazing success stories from our alumni. And so on a final note, I think I might even be less than five minutes, I just wanted to encourage all of you that if you know young adults from anywhere around the world, we're currently accepting applications to our program here in Seattle, um, and they need to be nominated by a, an, um, an organization at home, we encourage you to contact me or my coworker, Xing Xing, who's also here, um, as well as that it's Global Washington Day, it's also Climate Action Month at Earth Corps, and you guys all have the opportunity to come together, to get your hands dirty, to go outside, and work in a small group or work in a large group, but I think it's those activities where we're all working together that we really make change. So thank you. Good job, thank you. Quickly.